Right, what you see here is the installation of the Spotify iPhone app on an iPod Touch. This is the beast here. Now, just downloaded the app. So here we go. Sinking. Sinking. Installing Spotify. Still sinking. Okay, it's synced. I now have Spotify here. However, I am not yet a Spotify premium user. Let's just log in and see what happens. Logging into Spotify. Login failed. You need to have a premium account to use Spotify mobile, as expected. Okay, back to my browser. Let's go to Spotify. Let's get a monthly subscription. How would I like to pay every month or every 12 months? Let's just go for every month. Payment and receipt. Click. Now, just looking for my credit card number. Scammers and fishers look away now. Cheapest chips, huh? Back to Spotify. I'm in. Let's try search. Tap the search bar, up pops the dialog box. Let's try something nice, easy listening. Vampire Weekend. No, I mistyped that. The iPod Touch keyboard is poor. Okay, searching. Now that was fast. Top track, A-Punk. Lovely. However, before I play it, I'm now going to disconnect my iPod Touch and put it into my docking station. Cue Benny Hill music. Here we are. The Ion IPA, the mother of all iPod docking stations. Looks like an amp, doesn't it? Well, it is, except it's got a little thing in the top. Watch this. In it goes. Switch on the back. Power the beast up. Back to my search. Uh, a punk is still there at the top. Let's go for it. Let's see how it copes if I take it out into the garden. Excuse me a minute while I grab this beast.
Now, I find that quite impressive. Somewhere in Sweden, a hard disk is spinning. Bits and bytes are being chucked down a line and up onto the internet. It's coming across Europe. Somewhere it's hitting a BT exchange. It's coming down a phone line. Attached up there into a wireless router somewhere around there out over the ether and down into here where we can hear it <laughs> 